good morning. This is Ken Bork reporting to you live from the Air Canada Technical Centre for the 21st edition of the Air Canada Foundation's Dream Take Flight. Uh, shortly we will be uh, having an interview with the president of uh, the Montreal chapter of Dreams Take Flight, Mr. Brian Roscoe. Actually this is the second year that I will be on board the uh, flight and I will have uh, five of the seven uh, children from Ganawage uh, on the team. Uh, I will be taking pictures during the day, uh, so we'll be sharing those with uh, KTV uh, once we get back around uh, 1 o'clock uh, tomorrow morning. This is actually my 10th year with Ganawage. Uh, bringing the children uh, on the Dreams Take Flight program. Uh, for me, what's special about this is a chance for the children. Everything we do today is about the children, to make them have some special moments, to let them forget about any troubles or any problems they have in their lives and have a day for them to enjoy themselves. This is what it's all about. This is why I do it. The reward I look for this is the smile on the children's faces. That's what it's all about. Nothing more, nothing less. Brian, why do you do this? Because we love it. It's just one of those things you get addicted to it, you know. Uh, to see some of these children, you know, they have problems with, they go to hospitals, they go to uh, uh, different things they have to do d during their life that we don't have to do, and life is tough for them. So this just gives them a break. It's only one day that we get them away from that world for a day and put a smile on their face. And the difference between the morning when we meet them and the nighttime when we come back is unbelievable. It's just, uh, it's just remarkable how close you get with the kids in one day. Uh, Brian, the Montreal chapter of Dream Stake Flight has been in existence now for 22 years. Uh, how long have you been with uh, Dream Stake Flight? Well, actually, I uh, helped start the, uh, the first flight we had here in Montreal uh, one year uh, back in 19, I can't remember, I think 93. I went with a Toronto flight and we took 20 kids from Montreal on their flight. So we said, okay, I think we can do this. So then we got our own airplane in 1994. I think we started our own. Actually, it's our 21st year this year. Oh, 21st, okay. Yeah. Uh, Brian, during those 21 years, you must have accumulated some very special memories. Is there one in particular that sticks out there's, that you'd like to share? There's a lot. Every year I kind of call it my special moment. You know, there's always something that happens and I say, that's why I do it, you know? I remember this one particular flight when we used to bring kids into the cockpit when we were allowed to, and it was a 767, uh, and the child was sitting on the console between the two pilots and they both turned around looking at me at the camera, and this little girl was blind, so she couldn't see these pilots, but she knew they were there, and then all of a sudden she grabbed one and kissed him on the cheek, and everybody's really surprised. And in our astonishment, she turned and grabbed the other guy and kissed him on the cheek. It just surprised us all, and it was like one of those moments, you know. It's like, oh wow, that was that was my moment for that year for sure. But there's one something similar every year that just keeps you going, you know. And it just, well, you know, Ken, yes, I do. you've been here a few years now, <laughs> so it's uh, very, very addictive. I don't know what don't know what I do without it. My whole year is filled with this. This is the one day when it all culminates and we put it all together and go to Disney. But it's really the whole year of work, you know, and putting it all together, so this is it. It is my first time here. I mean, I've been, uh, I guess, you know, supportive of this initiative since Ken Bork brought it to the MCK, or to Gunawage. And um, it's the first time that I actually came to accompany the kids. And I think it's just fantastic. It's, it's so exciting. It's, uh, when I think about it, it's a trip of a lifetime. And, and these kids are like, so right now it's like almost like unsure that it's happening, you know, like I'm waiting to see as the momentum builds to see the excitement and, you know, as the anticipation. But uh, it's, uh, it's, it's just an eye opener for me to see how many people are involved to make this Dreams Take Flight happen. All the volunteers, all of, we have all of the emergency and um, peacekeepers and policing, etc., so that the kids can see you know what's available to them as they grow up. Um, there's just it's just it's just an amazing event, and I'm so happy that we've been able to uh, send kids from Gotawage. And every year it's more and more. This year we have seven, which is which is really great. A lot of thanks goes to uh, of course Ken Bork, who has brought that to uh, Gotawage and who has made this a reality. Uh, but there's a lot of work that he puts into this, and I think the more work that's put into it the more we get in return. And uh, 
It's just great. <laughs> yes, Andre Morissette, captain on the 777, going to Orlando today with the kids. As a relief uh, captain, my name is uh, Jean Lapointe. Okay, and tell me a little bit about your involvement in uh, Dream State Flight. Is this your first year uh, doing the flight? No, it's many years for me. I did it on different type of airplane, and uh, I'd say about 12 years now that I've been doing this as pilot or as a volunteer. It's very much so. It's actually, as you could see, all the kids around, some uh, less fortunate than others. It gives them a chance to, uh, to have a little break in life and uh, really an uh, opportunity to realize that maybe it's worth it to, to push a little bit to, to succeed in whatever endeavor they, they come up with. It's a great opportunity to have all the, uh, I think it's 180 kids along in this airplane and uh, take them to uh, see it Disneyland, Disney World in this case. And uh, yeah, it's very enjoyable to be part of the organization. Well, first of all, I'm a rookie. André got me into this uh, beautiful project. And as a grandfather, to me, to be with kids around, it's a nice way to give back of what we have received. André and I, we've been flying together for 40 years, and uh, today is an enjoy enjoyable day, and uh, we're very happy. Uh, I just love to come to see uh, the kids and how, how much of an impact this has on them. You know, they, they have such a great time. For some of them, this probably wouldn't be a reality for them in their lifetime or well. I guess in their childhood, so to give them this experience, uh, it's a great cause and that's why I keep coming back every year. It was a great day. Uh, the temperature was fantastic. A little bit too hot, as a matter of fact. Uh, we had a little bit of rain, but other than that, it was it was really good. Uh, we had a fun day at the park. Uh, the kids had a blast. Uh, a lot of smiles all around, and that's really what it's all about and what we want to see. How was the trip? Good. Very yeah. Good. What was your favorite part? Um, um, when um, we went down on the on loops up in the. Thunder, uh, Thunder Mountain. Yeah, Space Mountain was it? Yeah? Yeah? You have a good time? <laughs>